Can AI code better than humans? We put ChatGPT and Copilot, OpenAI's top AI assistants, to the test on a website screenshotting challenge. Who will come out on top? This challenge will have three steps. Use Python to screenshot these five websites, make the viewport 1600 by 9, and save the folder in screenshot dash the date time. This also gives me a great opportunity to test the new turbo mode, which has been made default for all ChatGPT Plus users. Let's get started with ChatGPT first. Now you might think I would go one, and then two, and then three. Nope. I'm just going to copy this whole thing straight into ChatGPT and hit enter and see how it goes. All right, I know you're a language model. Looks like we're going to have to install Selenium and Pill. Looks like it's doing the height and width. Let's put them into an array. It's using the Chromium driver, making sure that the screenshots exists. But it does not seem to be doing the date time. Let's put the date time on the actual screenshot file names. All right, let's just copy this and see how Copilot. Now, the way that we use Copilot is we have to start with comments. Comments are like Copilot's version of prompting. So we want to say shot URLs from array here. That we're just going to start with the import. I don't know if I need to do that. More time. We definitely need to import Selenium. So, okay, it didn't really pick that up very well. We'll import the web driver. Why not? It's better to over import. Now it seems to be going a bit crazy. So, Set the desired viewport. Okay, that's a great one. Yep, it somehow knows that we've already picked that as our desired viewport. What's next? We need to define the URLs. Yep, that's true. Yep, it already knows which URLs we're going to do. This is probably from me testing it before. That makes for a very terrible actual comparison, but it's working. I'm going to set up the web driver. This is stuff that I have no idea about. Just decide to use Chrome. Create the screenshots folder if it doesn't exist. Yep, just like... We haven't exactly prompted it to change it, so we'll change it a bit. We'll say... Create... The screenshots... Folder... With... Date... Time. Can't really see what that's saying. Stamp if it doesn't exist. Yep. Perfect. Now it's still just checking if it's a screenshots folder. This is, again, not what we want. We want it to make the name in the screenshots folder. Because if we run it multiple times, because the websites change over time, we want them to have the name in the folder. Yeah. So take screenshots of each URL. For each URL, yep, that makes sense. It looks like it's just taken all of that from ChatGPT. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's doing the exact same thing as the other one. Clean up. Okay, I guess so. Driver quit. Sure. Well, we know if ChatGPT works, and this is probably going to work. So let's actually do the next thing, because we'll use ChatGPT to make it in the screenshots folder. And I'm going to do that by just saying save it in the folder. Perhaps the prompt was a bit wrong, so we'll put it in quotes and see if that changes it. Typically these kind of things tend to work, but we shall find out. This is one of the problems with ChatGPT, is it takes so long to reload everything. You maybe have a couple of lines to change, but it's gonna run the whole script. And it still hasn't quite gotten around to the saving in the folder, has it? Okay, so what it's done is it's created a folder name. Screenshot now, it's exactly what we wanted. And then it creates, if it doesn't exist, the folder. So, what else? It's done the viewport. Yep, I think ChatGPT is done. And if Copilot's just copying ChatGPT, well, this is a giant waste of time. So let's just run ChatGPT and see if it works. Okay, so it's loading up Chrome. That was its driver. It is resizing the page. And I'm just going to pause it. And we'll come back to it once it has gone through all five of the websites. Now ChatGPT is done, let's see the results. Okay, so what ChatGPT has done is it has put the making folder inside the loop. So it has made five different folders, because at the exact second, it's different. So to fix this, all we'd need to do is take this out of the loop and put it above the loop, save so the formats. I've got format on, so that does it automatically. And that would solve that problem. So the 
clear winner of this competition has been ChatGPT. Copilot, it absolutely has not done anything of any good. So the good news is there are many, many new code assistants coming out on the market every single day. So if we check out the AI tools map, we'll have a look at some of the other assistants that are currently popular. So there's one from Replit. There's one, obviously, Copilot. That's what we were just testing. There's this one called Tab9. It's quite popular, but mixed reviews. There's one from Code Assistant, which I believe is from JetBrains, which makes PyCharm and a whole bunch of different IDEs. And then there's some other, there's like a search engine. And I'm not even sure what Codium is, but it's free. So it might be worth checking out. I will be making more videos just like this one, exploring ChatGPT and other code assistants. So if you're interested, like and subscribe. And here's another video for you to check out.